Hi, welcome to the Outdoor Laboratory Podcast. I'm your host, Danny Capo, and in today's episode, we're going to be continuing our How To Outdoor series. And today's topic is going to be about leave no trace ethics. When outdoors, there's an assumed behavior that everyone follows. Most of the time, people follow basic etiquette and respect each other when in the outdoors. If you are new to outdoor situations, it is important to learn a simple set of guidelines known as leave no trace. Leave No Trace, or also known as LNT, was introduced in 1987. The U.S. Forest Service, National Park Service, and Bureau of Land Management formed No Trace programs and distributed Leave No Trace land ethic pamphlets throughout their parks. In the early 1990s, the National Outdoor Leadership School known as Knowles was enlisted to develop hands-on education training for land ethics. In 1993, an outdoor recreation summit was hosted in Washington, D.C., where land management agencies, NGOs, and outdoor professionals were able to meet and form LNT ethics. Leave No Trace was then incorporated in 1994. LNT ethics consists of seven principles that are imperative to be followed. You must plan ahead. Trip planning is imperative to ensuring the safety of participants involved on your trip. Planning ahead is important to an enjoyable trip. Lack of planning damages the environment and experiences for the participants. By planning ahead, you are able to keep your participants out of bad weather or even dangerous situations. For example, if you are planning on hiking in the cold and you fail to prepare your group for rain, they can get hypothermia, and that is very dangerous to deal with. Participants and leaders are usually more confident when a trip is planned completely and thoroughly. There are goals that every outdoor trip should form and achieve, and planning ahead helps us to accomplish these goals. The next ethic is to travel and camp on durable surfaces. When hiking outdoors and camping out, it is important to follow the trail and to camp where there are already established campsites. When in the front country, it is important to follow the trail and not trample vegetation or get lost. Lots of money and effort have been put into establishing these trails. It's important for protecting the ec ecosystem. If we walk freely around in the environment, we will kill vegetation due to the foot traffic, especially in popular areas. Let uphill hikers have a right of way, and if you need to take a break, step off the trail for fellow hikers. That is how you're able to travel on durable surfaces and be considerate of others. Now, in the backcountry, things might change. There might be times where there is no trail to follow, and you must orient yourself. When traveling in these areas, Try to walk on rocks, sand, and gravel. And if you must walk on vegetation, try to find dry grasses, grasses to walk on. If you and a big group must walk through an entire field, try to spread out so that not one single path is created. It is easier for vegetation to bounce back after being trampled only once and not by multiple people in a straight line. It's also important to camp on durable surfaces. Camp where there are already established campsites, but if not, Usually rocks, dry grass, and leaves are great places to pitch a tent. Also, make sure that you are always camping away 200 feet away from water. The next ethic is to dispose of waste pop properly. If you pack it in, pack it out. It's that simple, guys. There is no reason for you to be leaving your trash in outdoor areas. Too many times I see cans, bottle caps, plastic bags, and food wrappers where they don't belong. And that is something that can be minimized. It's simple. Put it back in your bag when you're done with it. Also, guys, I'm going to be frank with you. Bury your poop eight inches deep. And if you're in a big group, dig one big hole. Yeah, guys, it might sound gross. Well, it's not. You're outside. Pooping is as natural as the outdoors, okay? You need to bury your poop, and you need to take your, your toilet paper with you, okay? Pack that stuff out. Bring a Ziploc bag with you. Yes, I said it. I said it, guys. That might sound gross. Too bad, so sad. There's no excuse for you to be leaving any type of trash outdoors. It's that simple. And this takes me to my next ethic that I want to share with you. Leave what you find. There's a cliche that says, leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but pictures. And that cliche is very, very true. It's important that we leave things where we find them. There are certain sites that have been defaced due to people who feel like they're entitled to taking a piece of the land for themselves. In archaeological sites, there are places where you could even find pottery shards. But if everyone were to take a shard home, there wouldn't be any pottery for people to find them for themselves. And these archaeological sites would become desecrated. 
The next ethic I want to share with you guys is to minimize campfire impact. If you plan on having campfire, it's important to minimize its effects. Before you start a campfire, ask yourself, is it too dry to start a fire safely? Are there dry shrubs around? And ultimately, is a campfire even needed? Fire used to be imperative to cooking outside, but with modern butane stoves, perhaps fire is not even needed. The best firing is found, not made. You should not be moving firewood from campsite to campsite, as that can cause the spread of disease and invasive bugs. There's a famous saying that says, buy it where you burn it, and that holds true. That's the only way that we can keep our woods safe from invasive species from other places in our country because if you say that you were to drive from the east coast with some wood and come all the way out to the west coast and burn that wood here there might be things in that wood that the west coast plants have not ever seen and they will die because they will not have the proper immunities to face these diseases that are found on the west coast because they've never had to face those diseases so it's important that you just burn all the wood you buy and if you do did not burn all the wood you buy, just leave it at your campsite for the next people to have. That's something that you can leave at your campsite, not pick up with you. At least, yeah. So the next ethic is to respect wildlife, guys. Do not disturb wildlife. It is important to keep a decent distance away from animals. Animals can feel threatened and attacked. Large predators might become comfortable with human interaction, and that can pose a threat for us people. Do not feed the animals with our food. First off, our food is high in sodium. Bad for their bodies. It isn't part of their diet, guys. It can make them ill and not in a good way. Animals will become relying on humans, guys, for food, which can lead to more animal attacks in the woods. They will associate us with food. We are not calories to them. We shouldn't be considered that. We don't want to get attacked by these large animals. So don't be feeding the wildlife. Respect them. See them from a long distance away. Don't be scaring them. They're on high alert, guys. They don't have a home to go back to. They have to go live outside. They're always on alert from predators. So, like, give them a break. Cut them some slack. Take a picture. The last ethic that I want to share with you guys is to be considerate of other visitors. To me, this is one of the most important land ethics out of all of them, guys. Imagine spending your money, time, and effort to go on a great camping trip. Then you arrive... And the campsite that you decided to choose, full of trash. The neighboring camp, they stay up to 11 playing loud music. People want to feel solitude. They want to hear nothing when they're outside. They don't want to be hearing your playlist. Don't play music out loud. Keep your conversations to a low decibel. Pick up your campsite when you leave. Make sure to respect all of our visitors when you're in the outdoors. Keep the experience of others in mind and don't be rude. The outdoors is a place to be communal, a place to share, okay? It's also a place to be peaceful, not confrontational. Leave no trace is one of the most important things to happen to the outdoor and the outdoor community because we are no longer having to go around picking up after people, at least hopefully, if they follow these rules. These guidelines must be followed, guys, when you go venture outside. This is the best way to protect our outdoors for future generations to enjoy. So go out and experience it for yourself. Have a great day.